Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I want to talk to you guys today about my sling setup on my AR-15. Um, what I find is most of the time when I'm actually training, I like having the, you know, the, the sling hooked up at the at the stock on the outside and uh, in front of the of the receiver over here. Okay, and, and the reason why I like it on the outside is, you know, if I want to do any transitions, it doesn't get in my way. If I if I move this to the inside where most people will put it okay if i try to do a transition this is going to choke me um so that's one of the reasons why i, I keep this uh cutie mount on the outside and i find that a good place for it to be um now one of the things i like about this rifle this is a radical that i bought uh i bought it in 2016 early that year um this rifle came with a rail that has QD mounting points um, built into the rail so I don't have to attach any like uh, extra attachments uh, the holes are already in the rail and I can just take this and I can shift it to that position whenever I want uh, and the benefit of that is if you know by shifting it to the to the forward position I can I just throw the gun over my back and now the the, the sling is at the, at the uh, two widest points on the rifle and I can do things. Um, you know, I can move, use my hands, and and, and the, the weight of the gun is basically supported at, at, at you know two wide points, which makes it more controllable. Um, you know, and a, a lot of times I'm at different locations, and, and, and I'm setting up these you know different obstacle courses and you know um, uh, training scenarios. And what happens a lot of times, you know, we you know we, we're moving tables, or you know we, we, we do a scenario, then afterwards we're, we're moving tables around or objects or obstacles. So the, the, you know, I, I, a lot of times I need my hands free, um, you know, between actual shooting and, and I want the gun really out of my way. I mean, I don't just want it, you know, in front of me strapped like this or even, you know, like, a, you know, because if I move this to this position like this and I throw that over my back, you know, what I find is that the gun is now going to, it's going to wobble a lot more. Um, the tendency that I find when I, when I have it like that is that the gun wants to do that. It wants to kind of fall off to the side uh, because it's not secured at, at the two four points. Um, so I want the, the ability to be able to move this way up there. So now when I throw this over my back, it stays there. Okay? You know, it doesn't matter if I'm carrying stuff from, you know, you know, I mean, it, it's just it's just gonna stay there. Okay? That's, that's a good place for it to be. Uh, and if I do want to shoot it, the gun is is usable. It can easily come around. I can easily come on target. You know, if I want to take my shots, boom, 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 boom. You know, then if I get to cover, you know, I can quickly move this from there to there, where now I have a little bit more flexibility. If I want to, you know, shoot on the other side, or come back to that side. Okay. Um, so on. So like I said, on this radical. The, the rail came already set up with these mounting points, which, which I kind of love. Uh, this is not the original stock that came on this gun. There's a Magpul um, that, you know, that I bought that has the, uh, um, a, a socket for the QD mount. Um, at some point, I also uh, end, did end up putting a, a, a QD, an, an end plate here that takes a QD mount. Um, and I, I, I was using this at one point. Uh, I ended up not liking this too much, uh, and, and the reason for this is again the gun. You know this this is in the way a lot. The gun moves around, becomes a lot less controllable. So I found that I don't like it. I mean, one of the nice things of, I mean, I do want that option there. It doesn't really, um, you know, it's not like it weighs more. I mean, it's just an end plate, um, and it does give me the ability if I want to go to a single point for whatever reason. Like for example, if I'm going to be, you know. In, in in the you know in a truck or in a van or something like that um where you know this this might be a little bit easier um you know to you know to have like this. i mean i don't like it i don't like it because it tends to move around a lot and hit you and you know so but but you know it's not it's not a bad idea to have that end plate on the gun i mean the thing costs like i think a couple of dollars um you know basically you just put it in you stake it in place and it's just there and you know if you don't use it you, know, you won't even notice that it's there you know um, so 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 that, that's how I like my rifle set up and I use this gun not because it's the best gun um, that I have or the most accurate or the, you know um, I use this gun because it is the most convenient for me you know it's got the 
the most um, you know the, the, the mounting points built into the rifle um, and, 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 and basically it's, it's convenient for me to use and to train with um, you know so I end up using this gun the, the most really when I'm, when I'm training people um, now one of the things to be aware of is that with these sockets right that, that, that are in the aluminum rail aluminum is a soft metal so over time that is going to the aluminum is going to wear and these sockets are probably going to become unusable for this purpose at some point in the future. I don't know how, you know, I don't know if we're talking months or years or decades. I, you know, I don't know how long that will take. But, but um, I know that I already had one uh, QD mount that went bad on me. Um, you know, that basically for whatever reason it, it just wasn't working very well. Uh, and I had to, you know, basically I threw that out. Um, so, so these are these are stress points on the gun. You know, the, you know the, the, the the point at which the sling attaches to the rifle. They are stress points, and it is something that is going to, you know, break over time as you're using and stressing the rifle, and as the gun is, you know, possibly snagging on different things, and you're doing, you know, scenarios where people are basically trying to grapple with you, and you, you're going to your pistol and that kind of stuff. Um, so, so, so these are these are points that, that these, you know these are things that will break the harder you use them. Okay, um, so 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 that's how I have my uh, my sling set up. I mean, basically this is a ten dollar sling. I got a bunch of them. I mean, I know they make more expensive adjustable slings. Um, you know, the adjustable sling. You know, you know the thing with the, it, it, I mean, it's great. At some point, I'll probably get one. Um, but the thing is, you still have to decide how you want the gun mounted. And if you're gonna throw it over your back, you know, again, it's the issue there is it has to, the gun has to be mounted at the two widest points in order for it to be the most controllable. Okay, so so if you have the gun mounted at this point here, um, you know the you know that 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 and you make the sling tight. I mean, you still I think that the gun is still gonna be less controllable than if you just take this and move this up. You know, I, you know, and then throw that over your back. You know, I think that gun now is a lot more controllable. Um, you know, so, so those are my thoughts on that. Um, but, but uh, like I said, this is the gun that I like using for my training. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's the Radical. I did a review on this. If you guys are interested in checking it out. When I first got this gun, um, you know, for the first six months, I did experience some problems. I mean, the gas tube, you know, did move out of place. I had an issue with the... Uh, uh, with, with the, the bolt not locking open on the last round, um, you know, uh, I had a disconnected that broke on this gun. Um, now I do, you know, I, I do run my guns hard. Uh, Radical does have a lifetime warranty, so I got all those issues resolved, um, and, and the guns have been working pretty good for me. Uh, I did some distance shooting before. I mean, I did have it looks like the wind died down, down, died down now, but before it was blowing pretty hard to the right. I think I had like a 20, 25 mile an hour run. Um, you know, it get, you know I did a five shot group. It gave me a nice uh, two inch grouping at 110 yards, and you know it shifted it way to the right. You know the wind just picked up a bit. Now it's doing about 30 miles that way. So that's probably what was happening. It shifted my grouping way over earlier. But despite that, you know a nice two shot group. Um, you know at 110 yards you know for a $500 gun so I'm pretty happy with it and I use it you know so uh, and I have my you know by the way in case you guys are wondering I have the light mounted there because what I find is that you know I don't have I don't have my light mounted out there because a lot of times at night when I'm doing my night shooting uh, I find that my arm gets really tired if I ha have it out there a long time and at night I do a lot more searching than actual shooting so I like having it a little closer in and the other thing is about having the light, you know, at the midpoint position is I can actually activate it, you know, with, with, with my other thumb if I do a transition, you know. So that's why the light is there in case you were wondering why it's in that position. Uh, but uh, those are my thoughts for today. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.